I love the idea of the future and what its possibility is. And I love the idea that the future is limitless. In fact, there are plenty of limits. The first one is the speed of light. And the second one is the span of life. However, I think that it's possible that if we can, uh, we can extend that our lives, the average lifetime, and we can live longer and we can come up with more ideas. Imagine if we got smarter as we got older. Imagine if every week we learned a new mental model that helped us to make sense of all of our knowledge. Uh, the Greeks had this idea of how to organize knowledge for memorizing very long uh, sagas and stories. They called topos, where they would imagine this a landscape where you would go around and you'd have this rock that signified this uh, time and this pool that was the time you were next to the ocean and so on. And they would help you make up this landscape. And imagine if we were able to have extended REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep, and we are able to remember our dreams. And imagine if we're able to have more rapid eye sleep, we get into it faster, we stay in it longer, and we're able to have lucid dreams and we're able to remember them. So this ability to do lucid dreaming enables us to have this vast dreamscape. So we can extend our lives, we can go into the dreams, we can have more organized knowledge, and also better collaboration better sharing of resources. One of the interesting things about the sharing economy is it puts us in touch with a lot more people, like that we, we know who they are and we could potentially contact them. So I've stayed in touch with several of my Uber drivers who have said really interesting things like, oh, you should write a book about this. I think another way that the future can be more limitless is if we increase our physical capacity. So we want to increase our VO2 max how much oxygen we can process. We want to grow new brain cells, uh, trigger neurogenesis, which I'll make a video about soon. So I'm here at the uh, design show in Miami that's next to Art Basel, and I see that the future is that the designs look much more clearly. And so as we contemplate and as we have the, the average person imagine that there are 10,000 intelligent civilizations in this galaxy alone, which is what my calculation of the Drake equation says, then we can imagine well, what's on those other worlds, what's on those civilizations, and we can catalyze this amazing explosion of new cultures and new creativity and new designs, new furnishings, new lighting systems, new sculpture, new jewelry. All these kind of things make a more limitless future.